Uh, Mark Taylor, I'm the owner and founder of Miner and Baker. I did a science degree about 15, 20 years ago and started kind of in the world of environmental science. Kind of always been interested in bread making. I've been maybe baking bread 20, 25 years, just, just at home. And then uh, we had a bit of a sea change, moved over to Copenhagen for for four years. And while I was over there, they just the bread just tasted different than I'd ever tasted before. Just really, really flavorful bread. The thing that really stood out for me was the fact that they either have a relationship direct with the farmer and they get the, this is a, you know, we're talking about the really, the good bakeries. I mean, some of the bakeries, they don't. They just use, you know, rubbish old flour like a, a lot of them do over here. Um, but the good ones that we really like going to, they had, uh, yeah, either a direct relationship with the farmer or they'd have a stone mill on site. And uh, when I started looking into why they'd have the stone mill, of course the old environment of science kind of brain kicked in and it just makes perfect sense. It's, you know, why when you've got a little kernel of grain, when you crush it up, it starts, you know, all the nutrients that are in that kernel of grain start, you know, going away. So it's always a good idea to use it fresh, as fresh as you can. So either you get it from the farmer every couple of weeks, direct, they mill it, you get it, you use it, or you mill it yourself, and then you, you don't have to rely on so much, you know, when that delivery's coming through. You've got the grain there just ready to go when you need it. We really wanted to kind of, I suppose, really just highlight the benefits of having, um, like, A, stone milling, which keeps uh, more of the goodness anyway, and then using it fresh. Fresh is, you know, obviously generally like anything, fresh is best. I had a, a Danish guy that said, you know, he said, look, if you, if you're serious about this, go back to WA. He said, if you think it'll work, I'll help you fund it. So, which is really good. He's a Danish guy, super lovely. And you know, you're never know, really sure if it's, uh, it's gonna happen or not. So I started going on like a small business course. And from there, I met this, uh, a couple of people. One was doing dry aged beef in ginger. And we had to go and do a present, you know, presentation about what we were gonna do, what was our big idea. So I started prowling on about the stone milling and uh, you know uh, what I was going to do and why I was going to do it. And I said, oh, so all I really need to do is find some farmers that care, like care about the soil, because soil is the most important thing by far. If you've got shit soil, you're going to get shit produce. So farmers that care didn't really want any pesticides or herbicides or fungicides used, because I'm, you know, that I think that's just a, a really bad way to go. And also that really, I suppose, give a monkeys about the the natural environment as well, like the native vegetation had some of that on their land that it hasn't just been cleared and there's no remnant veg left. Um, and then, anyway, she said, my husband would know some people for you. Next day she comes in with a list of about four or five people and the first cab off the rank was Ian and Di Hegarty and I spoke to them and I just thought these are the people without even meeting them. The relationship with Miller and Baker has been has been fantastic. You know, it's been a um, and for all of us, for Market Miller and Baker, and for us, it's been a learning curve as well because it's to actually see your grain go down their hole, go through a stone grind mill on site, and then bang straight into the oven. You know, cultured and straight in the oven, and or just see the flour laid out on the table. Um, it, it's just been it's just been a real learning curve for us and. Um, and once again, Mark's finding things down there that's performing completely different to, to what the standard rule book said. If you know nothing about it, grain at all or anything, and you just see it there, it's just a marked difference. You, you don't have to be experienced to, to see and the smell and the taste and uh, the texture. I think that's a, a real key factor is something that we've forgotten is, um, you know, the importance of that taste and that aroma. And that's what they mentioned is when they're making the dough, just the aroma that comes off it and um, yeah that, and that's I guess where we look at the animals how they respond in their environment and they're using aroma frequently in their um, food selection and it's something that's so critical to us and it was a really good indicator to, that a lot of those elements were present in the grain then to create that aroma and flavour um, that wasn't there necessarily in a you know other processed flowers and things that you might come across so it's pretty exciting to see where this can develop. Um, there's a lot of work we're still wanting to do as far as research and getting things all um, you know, understood, but the key factor at the moment is just customer feedback and that they keep walking back into Mark's doors and because you know, at the end of the day, a lot of the time we're going there for, 
flavour, but also um, the health benefits, people understanding what he's providing there with um, freshly milled grain of absolute optimum nutrient um, capacity. So people are wanting to support their own immune system function and, and there's gut microbiome. It's just a beautiful product that he's um, providing for them. So yeah, he's become a really um, hot spot, I guess, in the city there. This spot really appealed to me because uh, it's, I think we were always going to get quite good locals. You know, we used to, me and my wife used to live just literally three streets over. So we knew the area, uh, knew the kind of people that kind of would live here. Um, and I think, you know, this day and age, people are a bit more switched on. And I think when we came across, they saw the mill. A lot of them maybe don't care. They just like the bread anyway, and they're just going to come in and get the bread. But a lot of them do. A lot of them really want, like, you know, one, one lady, um, we, we did the whole week one uh, a couple of weeks ago um, and she had it, she said this is my dream bread, this is what I wanted you to do from day one and I said this is what we've wanted to do from day one but you know you've had COVID in the way and just lots of stuff happened in the, last, in the first kind of six, seven months we were open but now we're getting to a stage where we can just, you know, we can get better bread and it's all about educating them so it's getting the information from being in and die about the you know the health benefits that we we can prattle on about the health benefits of the stone milling and the, having it fresh but it's then going the extra level and finding out okay so we're getting them from these people and it's pretty special grain and then then just letting the customers know and i think then the more the word will spread hopefully and and more people will come but i mean the people so far have been so supportive you know they've just covid came they just kept coming so you know it's actually yeah, there's been, it's been really quite humbling actually, just to see the same people come in day in, day out, get the bread, and just really like, you know, really appreciate kind of what we're doing and what we're trying to do. So, um, but we still, we got a long way to go. It's still, lots of people haven't got a clue what the mill is. They don't know, they don't get it, or they don't know, they don't really care. Um, but I think once they, if we can get that message across that, you know, basically they're mostly having the healthiest bread in Perth, and, and uh, you know, if the results come out from Ian and Dice Farm, maybe, you know, some of the healthiest bread there, there kind of is. So, you know, I think a lot more people will kind of get on board and, and maybe not the locals, but other people will come directly for that. Thank you all so much for watching. If you're interested in our online courses, then simply go onto our website with the link below. Uh, and if you wanna see more regenerative media and stories that are similar to what you've watched today, uh, also subscribe to our YouTube channel. It would help us out a lot. Thanks so much.